Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is string? The starts and ends with nodes. I've created a quick little example here. Let's go ahead and unplug everything, reset it to default, and let's test it out. So we'll go with C and we'll hit play. And as you can see, I get a true for my result. So how are we actually using this? Well, by default, it's going to come in with nothing for a source, nothing for an input, search case will be on ignore, and our return value is going to be a bool. The starts with node is basically going to tell us, does this string start with something? And the ends with is the opposite. Does this string end with something? So, to see them in use, I have an animal for our source string. The animal is a cat, starting with an uppercase C. Now our input prefix, let's see if it starts with an uppercase C. We'll go ahead and hit play. And as we can see, it does start with an uppercase C. Now it's not just a character, it can be a full thing. So if we type in CA and hit play, we have true, because cat, C-A-T, starts with C-A. Now, if we were going to go ahead and lower this, let's just say a lowercase c and an a. Let's zoom in a little bit more. And we go ahead and do case sensitive and hit play. Now you're going to see it is true. Now, the reason for that is a bug with string inputs. Even though I typed in ca, it automatically reverted back to the capital ca. So this is something to pay attention to. If it's a string and it's an input and it's the same thing, even though it's just a lowercase instead of an uppercase, it's not going to accept it. You need to change the word completely, then you can go back in and we can change it to what we want, which is the lowercase ca. Now when we hit play, we're going to find false, because animal with a capital C-A-T is not the same when we have case sensitivity on as a lowercase ca. Now for the rest of the examples, we're going to go ahead and set it to ignore case, and of course, if we run it again, now we're at true. So, remember when I said it's not necessarily just a letter. It's the entire thing and the end prefix. And it's going to include spaces. Now we have a longer string variable. And it says, this is a longer string with each word separated by a space. Now if we go ahead and turn our, actually hook this up properly, and turn our end prefix to something like the word this, and we hit play, well, it's going to go ahead and match because this is the first starting of this is a longer string. Now, if we change this to, let's say, this space is, including the space, hopefully you've assumed it's going to be true, and it was. Because it's checking this entire group of letters here, the this, the space, and the is, and that does match the beginning of our word down here, this, a space, and is. Now keep in mind it will also include preceding spaces and trailing spaces. So if I put a space at the beginning and the end and I hit play, you're going to find a false. Because even though there is a space after the word is, my word, my string, does not start with a space. When you go and remove that, we can hit play and you'll find true. Because this is space is contained at the beginning of our longer string. Okay, now, ends with is pretty much going to be the same thing, except it's going to be the opposite. So, if we go ahead and put a space in here and hit play, it's going to fail because the ending of our sentence doesn't contain a space. If we type in space string and hit play, whoops, let's fix that because I put two spaces in there. There we go. And we hit play. Let's try to get one freaking space in there. Okay, there we go. So if we did in string like that, obviously that is not working properly. Oh, it's not working. It is working properly. I forgot to hook this up. Okay, let's try this again properly. So now that I have the ends with node hooked up correctly, let's go ahead and run this again. And you'll find true because it does end with the word string. If we do space string, where you can see it's a space with the word string after it, and we hit play, it's true as well. 
because it's basically going to start at the end of our longer string, which is our G, and work backwards and see if this entire thing matches. So if we did, let's say, longer string, and we go ahead and we hit play, it's going to work. So that is our starts with and our ends with nodes. They're useful to see if a string starts or ends with another string. It could be a space. It could be an actual string itself with multiple characters. It can be whatever you choose. And of course, you do have case sensitivity. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.